Now we have the extension of components of a vector in space. This topic is components of vector in three dimensions. Earlier we studied about two dimensions. So in three dimensions you can see that we will be having three axes into picture, the x axis, y axis and the z axis. So let here be a point O and I have P point here. Now the P point has the coordinates x, y, z. Now specifically speaking I have these x, y, z axes also. And here it is i cap, then j cap, then k cap. i cap is unit vector along the x axis, j cap is unit vector along the y axis and then you have k cap unit vector along the z axis. Now if I have to find what is op, specifically speaking o would be 0, 0, 0 because that is the origin. So op has the magnitude as according to the distance formula x minus 0 whole square which is x square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus 0 whole square. So that is op. And now when I have op, definitely op square is what? op square is the whole square which eliminates the root sign. Now op or op square has been known to us. The other important thing that we have to know is regarding this op vector. Now what is op vector? op vector is actually the resultant obtained with these three axes and this vector is something which can be named as r vector and it will have the components of all the three axes that means the x component the y axis component plus the z axis component so whenever you have a point in space whose coordinates are x y z the magnitude and the vector actually would be having certain specifications. So what is the component if I ask you along the x axis? It is x i cap. What is the component along the z axis? It is z k cap. What is the component along the y axis? It is y j cap. And now when we want to study more about this, we will be studying the properties based on this and then the numerical problems.